Hi everyone. Now we will talk about effect in angular. See, effect are very important feature of angular and they are mostly used with the signals, right? So guys, if you are not aware about signals, then you can watch previous three parts of this series. There I explained everything about signals in angular, all right? So here, first of all, we'll discuss uh, what is effect in angular. Then we'll see how we can get a updated value of a signal in effect. Then we'll see two uses with the example. First, how we can do toggle elements with the help of uh, effect. And then we'll see how we can use set timeout inside the effect. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions related to effect in Angular. All right. So let's discuss about the first question. What is effect? See, effect is basically a function uh, that will give you the updated value of a signal whenever a signal will uh, get updated. How? Let me show you what, with the example. Then we'll uh, go with the other things. So let me take one signal there. And uh, let's say its name is username only. And by default, its name is maybe Anil. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, let me display this on the UI user name. Right. And here you can see that this is visible. Okay. So this is will, this will be visible when we will use the uh, braces. So this is perfectly visible now. So if uh, I will update this on any button click and I want to get the updated value, then we can use the effect. So let's update it on a button click. Uh, let me put there update username and let me add a click event also there. And on this click event, we will use their username dot set and set we know that uh, is a function inside a signal that will update the signal a signal value. So let me put there Sam inside the quote or single quotes. And if I just click over there, you can see that Sam is visible there. So I want to catch this value so that uh, you can use constructor. So inside this constructor, let me use the effect and you have to import it from the uh, you can see that angular core package here you can see that right. And then uh, effect is basically take a callback function inside this. So now if I just make a console.log and if I just put their user name, right, then if I just click over there, you will see on the line number 14 and on the line number 14, we are printing this value, we are getting the updated value. So this effect will automatically call whenever we will update any signal, right? Here you can see that this is example. Okay. So now what we can do this with the updated value, you can do anything, maybe you want to show this updated username on the header, or uh, maybe you want to show something you want to toggle something or maybe you want to apply some set timeout, you can you want to call any API, anything that you want to do, you can do that on the behalf of any condition or uh, without condition inside the effect. Okay, so let me give you one example there. So what I'll do there, I will take account and its initial value with the signal is zero. So what I will do when this signal value will be two, that time I want to display a heading. Otherwise that heading will be hidden. So let me take a H1 tag there and I will mention there, uh, let's say main heading or something, right? And let me add there some style, style, background color is green. Uh, I think this is fair enough for now, right? So here you can see that. So I'll check there is a property. Uh, and the property name is let's say display heading and by default, its value is false, right? So there is a condition if is true, this display value is true, then it will be only visible. So by default, this will be hidden. Uh, I missed your okay, so I have to use the rate. Okay, so now you can see that this is hidden by default. And if I just make its value uh, true, then you will see that this is visible. So okay, so what I'll do, when count value is two, then this uh, heading will be display with the help of this uh, display heading property. So for that, I have to update this count. So what I'll do there, I will just update this 
count dot set and inside this we can say that count plus one and count value will be there like this so if i just click over there you can see that its value is getting increased so now i'll put a condition there inside this if if this dot count its value is two then uh, display heading will be true right so here we go once this value is one it will not make any impact if this is two this is uh, visible and three and four this is no impact because for that uh, we need a else condition and inside the else we will make it hide okay so if i just click over there this is visible then again this is hide right so this is the one use case second thing let's say you want to display this heading but only for two seconds if there is a no input then it will be automatically uh, hidden after two seconds for that uh, what you can do there you can mention set timeout and we know that this take a uh, arrow function as a callback function and it will execute after two seconds and there this dot display heading is false and now if i just click over there after two seconds this should be uh, 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 hidden right and that's actually what happening there so they are the two use cases of the you can say that effect toggle and use set timeout so uh, in interviews they can ask like what is effect and why we use effect so then you can say that this is basically a function and that will work with the signals when any signal value is updated that can be cached inside the effect and effect will be automatically called you can say that all right thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like this video subscribe my channel you can provide your feedback in comment section this is my paytm and gpay donation number thank you everyone